Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Good evening and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A man from East Point accused of criminal sexual conduct has been captured. Police say it all started when a group of kids began stopping by Daniel Lafave's house on Rain Street on their way home. The kids thought of him as a friend until he allegedly started inappropriately touching them. Police say he is now in custody awaiting charges. Meanwhile, Detroit police say they need your help finding two people who suffer from dementia. Richard Perkins, pictured here, was last seen on Friday morning at his home on Webb near Tuxedo and Linwood. The 70 year old is in good physical health but suffers from dementia. He was last seen wearing a black skull cap, blue coat and gray sweatpants. Police also need your help finding 56 year old Cheryl Harris. She was last seen on Thursday at her home on Clover Lawn right near Tyreman. Harris suffers from dementia. She has long brown and black braids. If you've seen either Richard or Cheryl, you are urged to contact Detroit police. Meanwhile, let's take a look at our forecast because uh, Mike, we do have some snow on the way. That's right, we sure do. For tonight, though, we're going to be at around 18. Clouds are going to be there. It will be chilly, but going into your Sunday, that brings about the change up. It will be partly cloudy to start, but then the snow moves in into the afternoon. We'll stay with us into the evening, a high of about 29. We could pick up one to three inches of snow, even some locally heavier amounts. Now, once we get to, towards your Monday, we'll have flurries. We even start to warm up. Wintry mix returns as we get towards Wednesday, and we'll have a high of about 33. Amira. All right, Mike, thank you. And just one more household note here. All Secretary of State branches are closed through Monday. It is because of the computer system undergoing a major upgrade. All branches are closed and online services are down. Offices are set to reopen on Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Those are your headlines. Have a great night. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System, all for you.